This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Welcome back. In this exercise, we're going to mimic a wind tunnel. You know those ads where they put cars in wind tunnels and they blow smoke over them to show how aerodynamic the car is? Well, we're going to do that using particles in After Effects. And to get yourself started, I need you to open the windtunnel.aep file located in your Lesson 14 exercise folder. And when the file opens, you'll see that there's a car parked on a street in Paris. And what we're going to do is make this car look really fast. First step in the process, let's give ourselves a solid. It doesn't matter what color it is. And you're just going to drag the CC particle world onto the solid. And once the particle world is on there, just give yourself a little bit of a scrub so you can see the particles. And of course, it's wrong. We need the particles to go across. So you come over to the effect controls, and we're just going to play with the physics to start with. We're going to move the particles on a directional axis. And of course, you know, can't ever get anything right first time. It's got to go in the opposite direction. Well, that's the extra angle here. So if we change that to 180 degrees. There we go. And of course, gravity is pushing them down. So let's take gravity off. We'll set that to zero. And we don't need any of the extras here either. So we'll set that to zero. Now, the other thing we don't have here is flames shooting out of the middle of the car. We want this to go to the front. So if you just twirl down the producer and slide the X position, you can determine where they start, and you can even do it with the Y position. See, you can take it up or down. So we'll just put it right about there. There we go. Okay. Now we've got uh, flames shooting across the car. That's not what we want, so we're going to have to deal with that. But before we do that, let's just uh, make these particles last a little bit longer. Let's make them 1.5 seconds long. So they're going to last about a second and a half as they move across. Just a little bit better. There we go. We can uh, twirl up the physics and let's deal with the particles themselves. Now, the particle type that we want is not line star or star. It is right here, faded sphere. And it looks like little puffs of orange and red and yellow smoke. Well, that's the color. The uh, color we're going to change it to is a lighter gray, a very bright gray. Click OK, and then the death color will be a darker gray. So as they die, basically, they change color to that dark gray. And we're going to increase the burst size a bit because I want this to be visible. Take it up to, say, 0.6. And if we come across, we can see that we've got smoke moving across, which is exactly what we want to have happen. All right. You can twirl up the CC particle world. We don't need it anymore. Now, the particles are giving us little puffs of smoke, but if you look at the wind tunnels, it's a smear. So what we're going to do is deal with that. So we select the solid, and we go to the effect, blur and sharpen, and we're going to put a fast blur on it. And the blur that we're going to use is horizontal because it's moving across. And the blurriness, I think we can get away with about, oh, I don't know, 50? Yeah, that looks good. And away we go. we got smoke blowing across here. This is good. Now, part of the problem that we have here is that we don't have the smoke going over and out. We're going to have to deal with that issue. And the way we're going to deal with that is in a rather unique manner. We're going to use the puppet pin tool to uh, do it because it will put it on a mesh and allow us to bend the smoke. The problem is, is that if we try to use the puppet pin tool with the smoke, each of these little wisps is going to wind up with its own mesh. It just gets ugly. So there's a way around that that's really kind of neat. What it is is it's called pre-composing. So I want you to select the red solid and go to Layer, Pre-Compose. Now, what pre-composing does is take a layer that's got stuff on it and turn it into its own comp, almost like its own little object. And we're going to call this one Smoke so we know what it is. And we can leave the attributes in the main comp. No, we want the smoke in its own comp, so we're going to move everything into the new composition, click OK. And you'll notice now smoke is there. And if we go to the project panel, it's also there. And now what I need you to do is to open the smoke comp. And there it is. Now remember what I said, we're going to be using the 
puppet pins here. And if I try to put puppet pins in here, this is just going to be ugly. But we can actually use one of the features of After Effects to our advantage. Remember, After Effects looks upon layers as being objects. So if I put a great big solid object under the smoke, After Effects is going to see that as just one big solid object, which means I can throw a solid in here. So new solid. And I can make it the comp size. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pull it down just like that, move it over the smoke, and then just move it under the solid right there. And that's what you want. You want to see the smoke. Now, you can make this smaller if you want, but just don't have any of the smoke sort of come across it. There we go. That's good. All right. Now, if you go back to the car, you can see there's our smoke. And what we can do now is put the pins in. And we're going to need about seven pins. So we'll just uh, pin there, pin there, pin there, pin there, there. It's five, six, and we'll put one at the end, seven. Now, obviously, moving smoke around with this big red object behind it is going to be very difficult to do. So if we go back to the smoke comp, and all we have to do is hide the solid. That's all you need to do. Remember, After Effects is going to see the solid even though it's not visible. It won't render it, but it still sees it. So we go back to the car. There's our smoke. And we can now take our pins and put them where they belong on the car. So we can just sort of there, there. And we can take this pin out. And if I deselect and scrub across the timeline, we've got smoke coming across. And if you want to change anything, just select the layer. And you can just readjust pin. Okay, so let's see how it looks. That's not too bad. So there you go. There's a quick way of creating a wind tunnel effect using particles in After Effects. In the next lesson, we're going to take a look at motion tracking. I'll see you there.